guys. So today I'm going to talk about the how to change the code on your key fob. Um, it's a bit of a tricky procedure and I couldn't really find anything online to do it. And the instructions in the manual are easy enough, but I think a video is obviously the quickest and easiest way to, to learn anything. So the procedure is you turn the bike on all right, then you go on, off, on, off, left, left. And that will come up there, enter pin. So then you turn the right signal once, and it will give you what's there. So at the moment it's all sixes. So I'll change it to one, two, three, four, five, six. So what we do is with the left turn signal, you move it until it goes to the desired number. So one, then right to move across, and then just flick again. Two, three, four, five. Then once it's done, click it again on the right till you get back to the first one, and then you just turn it off. And that's it, it's done. So um, yeah, it's pretty simple, but uh, it's you know something that I would have liked to have seen on YouTube, and there it is. So go tell your friends, and I'll see you out on the road. So in other news, um, I've got the bike booked in to Harley for the stage one to be fitted and some new handlebars and risers. Um, I probably could have done the, the bars and risers myself but they were meant to be on the bike before I actually picked it up but because of the stage one, because the uh, exhaust wasn't um, right from the factory, the welding wasn't right, um, they just decided to, or I decided to just leave the whole thing until just do it in one go you know. So um, yeah, that's something to look forward to and I will be doing uh, a review on it, obviously. It's the Two Brothers competition, um, two into one. And it's gonna be uh, the blacked out version. And like I said, I'll, I'll end up doing uh, a ride review on it as well as a um, pass and sound review. I'll do a before and after, what the stock pipes sound like compared to it and I'll do a few drive-bys, um, try and do some low speed ones and some higher speed ones. And uh, yeah, so watch this space. Next week I will have it back and probably in two weeks time I'll get a video out as long as the weather isn't as great as it is today. Um, the weather at the moment in the UK has been absolutely crazy. It's, it's almost summer now and uh, yeah, it's just, been, it's just been rubbish. So yeah, while I'm out on the bike, um, I'd just like to do a quick review, and it will be a quick review, on the quad lock, which is this little handy thing right here holding my phone to the bars. And, um, you might have heard of them. Um, they are pretty good, in my opinion. It's, um, you have to buy the case for the phone. They do Android and different phone models and, and iPhones and everything else. But you need the case because that's got the sort of hole um, in the back that the actual thing clips onto. Uh, the installation is super easy, um, you know, a monkey could do it. The instructions, I didn't even bother reading them. You, it will fit pretty much any diameter um, handlebars and any position. I mean, you could have had it down here or on the side here or up there. Um, I found it, that was best for me, and it's good as well because you can actually change it from portrait to, to landscape as well if you want. Um, better watch this learner driver, it's a bit sway all over the way. We've all been there. So yeah, it's, um, it is a good device. I've had it at high speeds and I've still got my phone, so you know it does work. And I think it's a pretty handy thing to have on any bike. Um, you know, you're not going to be making calls on it or anything, but sat-nav these days, I mean, even if it's going somewhere that you're kind of, you know where you're going, like sometimes I'll go on, on the road 
it's a really nice ride. Um, and I'm not quite used to the um, all the bends and the corners yet. And and with the map on, you can kind of see where what's coming up. If there's a hairpin coming or a nice round bend or whatever, you know. And uh, which I find quite handy. And without the quad lock, I'd be I wouldn't be able to do that, you know. And I know there are other uh, other things out there, but uh, I. You know, I thought, this, I thought I'd give this one a go, and uh, it turns out it's actually brilliant. Really easy to install, really easy to put your phone on, and uh, and it and it's it's tidy. You know, it's, it's it does it's not too bulky. It's not like got those big sort of things on it, and it's it's just a little thing on your handlebars, which I really like. So yeah, like I said, you know, it's, it cost me about sixty quid, and I think really for what it does, it's a, it's a bargain. Anything on a motorbike is is, is pretty expensive, and. Um, you know, for what this is doing for me, I think it's it's a it's a great investment. And you can change the colour of it if you want, and different things. So you know, it's it's, it's customizable. Um, but yeah, it's it's a it's a brilliant device, and I highly recommend it. So yeah, there it is. That's the quad lock. So yeah, um, I got my first troll the other day. Um, it was on the five things I hate about this bike. Now, the troll didn't say anything about the bike, other than the fact that I couldn't afford it, and I probably hired it. Um, he also called me, and these are his words, not mine, so apologies, um, but an effing uh, bucktooth faggot, and that I needed to uh, get my teeth done. So, I don't know where he's got that from. Um, I think he's doing the old stereotype Brit. Uh, you know, got bad teeth or whatever, haha. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I, I thought it was a joke at first, so I did the the nice reply of, oh yeah, haha, -ha, how's it going, sort of thing, and just got the same response again. Um, and I just don't understand it, I just don't, where are you, where are you going? I just don't understand how people control if you've got something to say, and it's about the video, and it's negative about it, that's fine. If you if you disagree with anything I've got to say, perfect. Let me hear it. I'd, I'd love to hear it. Um, I'm new to this, and I also like to take constructive criticism, and arguments are there to have. But to just not have any respect for somebody, and call them things that aren't true, and, you know, I can take these sort of things, but some people might take those compliment, uh, those, com those comments, sorry, um, to heart. And, you, can, you know, you can just destroy somebody um, saying some of the things he was saying to me. And um, so I think I've learned a lesson here, and that is to not respond to any trolls anyway. Um, if, you, if you've had any trolls, contact you and give you abuse for no reason. Um, I'd love to hear your stories. Um, I won't name and shame the guy because I just don't think he's worth it. But I just, I still to this day don't understand what the, the whole point was. The funny thing is he goes on about my teeth and how, you know, the Brits and all that, but little does he know that I'm actually Italian, which I think he was. So, you know, what does that say about him? But whatever, I don't care. Anyway, so yeah, I just thought I'd put that out there. And um, I think I'm going to end the video here, guys. Um, so thanks for watching again. I'm sorry it's not been as exciting as some of the other ones. Um, but hopefully the next one... Oh, I've got a little scooter nod. Hopefully the next one will be with me and the new Stage 1 and the new handlebars. And we'll get some decent sound clips of the, the pipes and what it looks like and how much more power and umph I've got out of the bike um, so yeah watch this space guys please leave all your comments and likes and dislikes below and if you've got anything that you'd like to ask me about the bike or if you'd like me to do a video on anything about the bike then please leave your comments um, you know I'm, I'm up for new material and I just want to know what everyone's thinking so as always like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.